how we turned this blank wall into a playhouse for our daughter. On the other side of the wall was the space underneath our basement stairs. So the first thing we did was cut out the doors and the windows to the future playhouse. After that, we began framing underneath the basement steps so that we could hang drywall. Then we began mudding and taping and of course, sanding. Taped out how big we wanted the playhouse to be and then began trimming the doors, windows, and the outside of the playhouse. After that, we started adding siding. Once the siding was up, we were ready for our first coat of paint. We then started working on the roof. We added more siding to the top of the roof and then added two pieces of trim to make the roof a little thicker so that we could add shingles. We used an X-Acto knife to cut the shingles to the size that we needed and then nailed them into place. After that, we started working on a Dutch door for the outside of the house. Then it was time to get back to working on the inside of the playhouse. I started by painting the walls white and then added a carpet pad and carpet that we actually found underneath our basement stairs. Then started pasting the walls so that I could apply this wallpaper from Milton and King that I thought was super fun. Added some baseboards and then started working on the flower boxes for the outside of the playhouse. To finish it all up, I added all the little details. I have to say this is probably my favorite project mainly because it barely cost us anything. All of this was leftover material that we already had around the house.